Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Jessie and before I get started here um, I just want to say welcome to the new subscribers I have gotten over the past like two weeks. I've gotten I think three But you know, hey, I just want to say I appreciate you for clicking on whatever video it was and subscribing and I also want to say thank you to the subscribers I've had since you know I started um, I am just a very very small YouTube channel in this big YouTube world um, so I appreciate all of you guys and I just want to say thank you all right so getting into this video um, today I am opening up my boxy charm for February 2020 and I know y'all thinking girl is March I know but I got this box like a week or two ago like I got this box in February but I was waiting on so many other boxes to also come in I was like let me just wait and then I think the very next day I got part of my boxy pop-up come in too which will be another video coming this week um and I was like okay like I'm glad I waited but and then I honestly don't remember why I didn't film. I know at one point my son got sick again and yeah, I, I honestly don't know why um, actually. I had just been waiting on all my boxes to come in and stuff, but yeah. Let's jump right into this box here. Actually, before I do that, how are y'all feeling about this lip? I don't know, like it's kind of iffy. I got this, this was the ColourPop lippy I got in uh, my Bijou Mystery box. Yeah, and I will link that somewhere up here or at the end of this video. Um, I kind of like it. I had to put like a gloss over it. I put the Too Faced um, lip gloss over it that we got in our last Boxy Lux. I mean, you know, it's, I don't know if I'm living for it, but you know, it's, it's doing a little something something, but we'll, we'll see. I don't know. But I have my Boxy Charm box here, and I actually did open it already, and I actually used two of the products today. So as y'all know, Boxy Charm was having a tough time in February. I don't know what it was, but I feel like almost all subscription boxes were having a tough time in February. Um, I got no info card. And before y'all like, oh, they emailed, like, I didn't even get an email. I didn't get an email, no info card. My box mailed out super late. My box usually mails out, like, the first week of the month. And it didn't mail out until the middle of the month. But I still got it in February. And I definitely appreciate them emailing me, letting me know, hey, your box isn't going to mail out until this week. So, shout out to BoxyCharm for that. But, yeah. And... There's something else I was going to say. Oh, this box is $25 a month. It is the base box. They have a premium box, um, which is $35 a month. And then they have Boxy Lux, which is $50 every quarter. All right, here we go. So the first thing I'm going to pull out here is this Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer, Energize and Rescue with Aloe, Coconut Water, and Probiotics. It is silicone free. And that is what this product looks like here pretty and um i've actually been using the pure lease matcha green like this is the one i've been using lately but today um i used the pure and i will say i'm not a coconut person but it's not a very strong coconut smell so you can still smell it to know that it's coconut, but it doesn't make me want to give this away to somebody else. Um, it claims to be hydrating, I think. Energize and rescue. Maybe it doesn't claim to hydrate. I don't know. But you know your girl is dry. So I need something hydrating, and which is why I love this Pure Lease one I got from an Ipsy box um, forever ago when I had Ipsy. This is probably my favorite, but it's also a moisturizer. Plus primer um, this one is okay I don't mind it I don't mind the faint coconut smell um, yeah it's okay next oh and obviously I don't have the info card so I don't know how much these things cost or the description next is the Becca ultimate coverage 24 hour foundation and this is what she looks like right here 
Let me take her out of the box. Oh, and I got the shade Khaki. Y'all see that there? Khaki, it's 3N3. And show y'all the bottle. I did use this foundation today as well. That is what the bottle looks like. Pretty. It's like nice and like sleek. Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Um, I will say though, when I read the description for khaki, it said it was a medium tone with neutral undertones. When I used this just now, I don't know if y'all could tell if I look a little on the orange side, um, but it's because of this foundation. And which is weird because I use a smash, smash, smash box foundation and it has the same description, medium um, with neutral undertones, and it matches me perfect. This one, however, was a very orange when I put it on. I know this is a different company, different foundation, you know, whatever. Um, but I was surprised. I was expecting it to match me like my Smashbox did, um, and I was mistaken. Maybe it'll be a better match for me in the summertime. I don't know. Um, I liked it. I did find it to be like a little bit patchy on my skin too, but that might have been because of the primer I used. Um, my face gets really dry, and this wasn't that moisturizing, but it tells you to put it on clean, dry skin. So, I'm a, like, I didn't put moisturizer on. Maybe I should have. I don't know. But I'll continue using it and see how it goes. Next thing we have here is facial radiance pads help exfoliate, tone, and brighten. And you get 28 pads. And this is by First Aid Beauty. And I'm super excited to try these. I love exfoliating pads. Um, I like washing my face and then using the pads because then it wipes up like any um, residue that you've left behind. So I like it. The next thing I got here is the Ciate London Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. And that is what that looks like there. And I did not use this um, just because I don't, I'm not a huge fan of setting powders. Ooh, I done broke the box. I'm not a huge fan of setting powders. I do have the Becca one we got like forever ago um, in one of our BoxyCharm boxes, but I feel like it leaves like white residue on my face, so I don't know. I may or may not try it, and if I don't like it, I'm probably just going to end up giving it to my mom because my mom got this in her BoxyCharm box, and she said she loves it, so. And last but not least, I'm super excited about this. I got the Alamar Cosmetics brushes. So excited. I love, I, I'm pretty sure I've talked smack about Alamar Cosmetics before and I'm so sorry, but I love their brushes. They're so soft, Ugh, so soft. And I've been needing some new brushes. So this is what they look like. She pretty, and I don't know if y'all could tell, like it's like texturized up there. That's cool. And this is a bronzer brush. This one's kind of like a little angled. And it is a complexion brush. And then this one, I'm super excited because I need a new highlighting brush. This is a brightening brush. Cute, cute, and they feel good. They don't feel cheap. There's like enough weight to it. Super. I'm so excited to use these. Um, but yeah, and that is it for my base box for February 2020. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video, which will be this week. So I'll see you again in a couple days. <laughs> Bye.